Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 33 Questions with Jamaica Observer. And today we have another special guest and she is... How important is meditation to you? Super important. My God, especially especially now, you know, the past several months have been the toughest, I think, of my life. And I don't know if I'd be sane. So please tell us where we can find you on social media. You can find me at Call Me Savannah on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Savannah on Facebook, YouTube, and everywhere else. That's S-E-V-A-N-A. All right. So we're going to get straight into the questions. Are you ready? I am ready. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> no, no. Go on. All right. So the start. first question is, what would you say is making you feel positive in life right now? Smoothies? <laughs> Uh, very interesting answer. Yeah, no, because, you know, I get to wake up and have that as part of a morning routine and I always feel better afterwards. Or is it water? I mean, I don't know. It's a hard question. <laughs> which Waking me, up. <laughs> which leads me to the next question. Yeah. What is a routine that you are determined to keep up? Smoothies? I, I try to go to sleep on time. You know, I'm trying to get those hours in because I don't really sleep all the insomnia. So, unhealthy. Nighttime routine. Yeah, <laughs> that's on healthy. Yeah. What's something that happened in your childhood that keeps you going every day? Oh Jesus. Um, just kind of seeing how my mother had to struggle with us, you know, single parent family. Um, watching that makes me just determined not to give up. When did you decide that you wanted to be a single? I think. 19 fully but i was already singing from 16 so i think i decided like after not doing it for a little bit that that's what i was meant that's to where your do. heart that's was. what i meant to do yeah mm -hmm. purpose kind of vibes what's the name of the first song you wrote and i don't mean as Time like hard. A, how old are you 13. Uh, all right um you have to sing it okay <laughs> <laughs> okay Time hard, and I won't leave our people a die. Time hard, I mean, I have no pot to start a boil. Time hard, time hard, please help us, please save us, Jesus. It's like a combo of reggae and Gospel. So when are you releasing that? No, I released that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember singing it for the whole class though because I was so excited about writing a song. Amazing. I really feel like it did some good. No, it, 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 it look a vibe. Yeah, and time out right now, but yeah, <laughs> so pandemic. Very fitting. Quality, yeah. <laughs> All right, do you play any instruments? The guitar, barely. What? Was no, I don't, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the voice? First? Oh, yeah. Primarily. What's the first song you learned to play on the guitar though? Or which song can you play on the guitar? Or which chorus or ever, which line that one song? Uh, what can you India play? Ari. <laughs> I'm ready for love. That's I'm the first ready. one. Oh nice. That's the first one I learned. If you weren't singing, what would you be doing? Psychology. Yeah. Alright, what's the first thing you do when you get a song idea? First thing I do when I get a song idea is home it in my voice memo app on my phone and then I start writing down in notes. How important is meditation to you? Super important. My God, especially especially now, you know, the past several months have been the toughest I think of my life and I don't know if I'd be sane without meditation. So yeah. And what meditation looks like for me is putting on some sound bowl playing. Cesar have a really good one when she went live and love Cesar. Um, sitting down, focusing on my breath, and just have that, I don't know, pure sound, kind of just bathing you, your spirit. <laughs> I don't wanna know. What brings you peace? Meditation? Yeah, also people, you know, having people around who 
just encourage positive energy. So for, for that, for th those people are my friends. Yeah. Nice. Couldn't, couldn't do anything without them. How important is music to you? How important is music to it's Honestly, it's, it's everything. It's everything. It's definitely up there for sure. Um, it's, it's my safe space. Yeah. And how powerful do you think music is? Like it's, it, it doesn't have any bounds, you know what I mean? Because even if we don't speak the same language, um, I could play a song and it could be moved, you know, just the same, right? Which it's, leads me to your album. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about When's that. When's my album? Um, I have so many songs and I'm just trying to find the perfect songs, especially since I'm marrying a bunch of genres. Mm -hmm. I just need for when people start to play the album, it just sounds good. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel necessarily experimental as much. Um, Tell me about Be yeah. Somebody though. Like the Be process. Somebody? Yeah. The, the process of Be Somebody, I just wrote songs and I just chose the ones that I felt worth the best. And then obviously you get um, feedback from, you know, team that you're working with. So it was really that, just choosing the songs that I felt communicated the uh, range. Mm -hmm. My range. So bless and feelings is, and so. is kinda like jazz and a little bit of gospel, gospel and, and yeah, tell yeah. me I Excitement. that's one of my favorites. Tell me about it. Really? That. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Blessed. Um I wrote that song before Izzy finished the beat. Mm. So that was yeah, so that, that song that I the song that I wrote was for a whole other beat. We sent it to Izzy and then he ended up putting horns and all these exciting instruments and I remember listening to listening to it the first time and I sent it to Prodigy and, I was, and my mouth was like and he was like that was me when I was listening yeah. and I was like, and I was like mm, yeah, yeah no and and I was like wish but on the EP this like a fit <laughs> right because it, it it felt completely different um but yeah it was just really me giving thanks, acknowledging God in all things, you know, because that's important for me. So that's, an, that's an important part of my life. What would you say is your favorite um, song on the EP though? My favorite song on the EP? Oh my God. I will, if you only knew? If you only knew? Yeah. Is that like, if you only knew or be somebody? I was coming to that, the part yeah. when you start thinking about level up and yeah. like, it's, it's, it's yeah. what was the process in writing that though? I, but I, got through, <laughs> but I got through some things. And yeah, we did, was in London with Charlie then. And yeah, I kind of just wrote about what I was feeling. All right, tell me about your tiny desk experience though. Like the, the whole. It was exciting. It was so exciting. And I'm honestly, I can't believe say it happened. And in, in the middle of a pandemic too, Yeah. you know? Um, but it was really good. And my friends at Creative King, Kingston Creative, downtown mm -hmm. the hub, um, they were like, "Yeah, man, you can come through use the space." And I brought all my, you know, my band and engineer people, and we just recorded it. And it was a really good time. I love playing with my band, so it feels good. Other than that, what is one good thing you think came out of COVID? One good thing, a lot of clarity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you're kind of forced to introspect. And you realize where you are. Exactly, and what's exactly. Especially in the beginning of the quarantine last year when I was by myself. Because you know, I did lockdown, you couldn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, clarity. How do you handle pressure? Sometimes I don't. <laughs> sometimes I don't handle it. No, no, no. Sometimes it looks like me crying for a couple of hours and then. Getting back out there. Yeah, I guess. Take a show and then just be like, all right, well. We could do what we need to do, you know? Um, but it looks like feeling my feelings, you know? And I and I prioritize that. Like if I'm not doing so well I feel mentally, um, emotionally, I will work on that because I can't function if that is out of work for me, so. Completely understood. Mm -hmm. So we're now going to the hot seat questions. We're gonna ask you to answer these as quickly as oh, okay. possible. <laughs> What's one habit you're trying to break? Uh, oh, my phone. I want to be better at my phone. WhatsApp. I don't. I don't get the messages. <laughs> you don't get them really at all. I, I, I miss a holy for them. I'm not good <laughs> with my phone. I want to be. Do I want to be better at my phone? You know what? I want to get to the level where I don't have to have a phone. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. that's not a habit, but 
You get what I mean. You don't get what I'm saying. I, I, you don't. Maybe. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Introvert or extrovert? Both. Favorite holiday? Some, uh, Christmas? I don't know. Favorite season? Winter. Which pop of girl do you think you'd be? Which one best represents you? Which one is the, the dark, scary one? Um, Buttercup. Buttercup. Buttercup, but, yeah. yeah. What's an embarrassing moment that you can laugh at now? When they booed me off stage in high school for singing. <laughs> I never know the lyrics of people. Let me start laughing and booing and say, was, look at, but look at you now. Look, look at me now. <laughs> Favorite <laughs> music genre? Ah, blues. Favorite TV show? Oh, I don't know. Good Girls? Or Ozark? Favorite movie genre? Shit Creek. Um, movie horror, tr thriller, psychological thriller. Favorite thing to eat? Salad? No, that's not right. Um, chickpeas, chana masala. Chickpeas curry. Last thing you cooked? Chickpeas curry. Yeah. Worst hotel experience? Boy, I'm not calling people in <laughs> hotel name. What happened? There? It just, it did just feel very plantation-y. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite sport? Uh, ice skating. Can you? Malika, no, I can't ice skate. I can't ice skate, but Malika, look. Favorite looks sport very that you graceful. can play? Favorite sport that I can play? Cricket? Football. No, cricket. Pants or skirts? Both. Biggest motivator? Family? Country girl or city girl? Country. One thing. Mm, look like a <laughs> one thing you never leave home without. Um, I guess phone or lip balm. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. That's it. Yeah. That brings oh, us wow. to the end of 33 questions with Jamaica Observer featuring Sefana. Sefana. Thank and you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Before we go, tell us where we can find you on social media. You can find me at Call Me Savannah on Instagram and Twitter, and then you can search Savannah anywhere else. S E V A N A. We want to thank you guys for watching and before you go, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and follow us on all our social media platforms at Jamaica Observer. Until next time, thanks for watching.